Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements um, in Pisces, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are now closed. Don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. All right. Let's see. What's going on with my Pisces collective at this time? All right. So we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh, somebody is um, fed up here. This is like a fed up energy. Like, I'm done. I've had enough. I'm throwing in the towel. Um, three of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like someone's sick of waiting. Someone's sick of the delays. This came out weird. Mm, let's see. Yeah, wheel of fortune in reverse. Somewhat, you're sick of something, waiting for something to change, and it's not. You're either sick of waiting for somebody to um, get out of some type of karmic cycle or to stop being so resistant to change. Like I feel like, yeah, you've been waiting for a change. You've been waiting for progress, for a movement. Um and I feel like you are getting to this point where you're just like, I'm done. Like, I'm cutting this situation off. Like, I'm grown bitter about it. Like, I just don't want to do this. Um, I'm no longer waiting. There's been so many delays and setbacks and obstacles, and I'm just not doing this anymore. So um, we have fast communication. We, we have the eight of wands, which can be about fast communication. But more with the ten of wands behind it, I feel like either this is somebody coming in. Yeah, this could be somebody coming in and, like, laying all their cards on the table. This could be somebody coming in and communicating to you like laying a lot on you like I hope that makes sense like info dump what is that term like you know um spilling their guts type thing you know what I mean the magician here so what else do we have we have sat fixed energy Taurus um Taurus Scorpio Aquarius oh, who am I forgetting um Taurus Scorpio Aquarius and Leo sorry 222 on the camera um, could also be um, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. We have air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have um, five, we have Aries energy with the magician. So something's manifesting here. Somebody, yeah, I just feel like somebody's letting this go. I don't really feel like that's what it is. It could be somebody coming in wanting to, to you know, be open up because now they feel like you're releasing them. But more so what I feel is like someone's taking action to release something here. But that could be creating rapid change here. Ace of Cups reverse, the Hierophant reverse. Mm. Let's see. All right, seven of wands in reverse, seven of wands in reverse. So we have unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt again. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So you're sick of this person letting fears hold them back. Like someone is having a hard time letting their guard down. But with the seven of wands in reverse, somebody could be about to do this. So you have the queen of swords in reverse sexual union you guys are no longer letting this person use you for sex like i feel you guys have cut this person off they're thinking sexually about you tell me about the three wands in reverse the leap of faith yeah like this it's like you've been waiting for somebody to like put their pride to the side make some changes take a leap of faith on this connection i feel like it hasn't been happening wheel of fortune in reverse okay we have okay this is too many Hold on, hold on, y'all. Clarify Wheel of Fortune and Reverse Spirit. Breakthrough. So, yeah, that tried to just come out, I'm pretty sure. So, it's like things have been stuck and stagnant, but something is going to change here. So, if you were dealing with a very guarded person that was letting their fears hold them back, yeah, they're afraid of, yeah, their anxieties. 
I feel like you guys cut this person off. Like they would maybe try to have like sleep with you, but they were maybe, maybe not wanting to like go all in when it came to this connection. And I feel like they maybe even acted very cold towards you. But what I'm getting is like, you guys just grew very pes pessimistic when it came to this situation and this person. Like, I feel like you guys just feel like either they were hiding something from you or um, like you guys cut them off. Like, I just feel like that's what happened. Like you cut them off. What is the queen of swords in reverse and um, sexual union? power couple yeah that's what you want right you want an equal exchange of power like you want to be a power couple with someone you don't want to just sleep with somebody somebody this person feels like you guys just met at the wrong time like they want to be able to offer you more than that they or they know that you deserve more than just sex or whatever but it says they wish they met you at a different time when because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been or maybe since you guys cut this person off they're kind of they're missing you and they're feeling like um, they may never see like what this connection, this connection may never reach the potential that they thought it would, but I feel like this person maybe even like released you or they walked away or they like, just were not prioritizing the connection, like, because they wanted to be a player, but it's like that player, like, it's like they released you. And then they realized that like, this is who just had a reading like this, or it was maybe the, was it Capricorn? Yeah. Capricorn just had a reading like this. So you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but it's like, this player energy they maybe even walked away from you or released you to like go be a player again after dealing with you and then they realized that it was just not enticing to them anymore like it just doesn't it's not it doesn't satisfy them or give them the thrill that it used to anymore um you give them something that feels way better than that so it's like i don't know if they walked away from you or you walked away from them but they're feeling your absence for sure like or w once you do walk away from this person they're really going to feel your absence they may be not talking to you. They may be silent at this time or when you do walk away for a while, but just know they're suffering in silence, thinking about how um, they let you slip away. Okay. It says, though they never had you to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. I'm telling you, like somebody regrets like not taking a leap of faith on this connection because they feel like you got away from them. But it's like, it, with that part that says though they though they never had you it's almost like you guys never really like got into like a full-blown full like a regular relationship you could this could have been a situationship this could have been friends with benefits you could have wanted more with this person but they were too afraid to like actually like have that with you so but with breakthrough here something is changing okay something is changing here let's see tell me about breakthrough spirit um let me see They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. So yeah, you guys could be, um, like I said, with the eight of wands and that ten of wands, someone coming in and you, coming in and laying a lot on you. All right, laying their cards on the table. It's like they felt like that we just had that card that says was dealt a bad bad hand. But then, like I see them coming in and laying those cards on the table. They may feel like the circumstances aren't ideal, but they want to do this. They just want to take a leap of faith and like try to make it work or something like that. We have breakthroughs. So it says retreat for answers. So there is maybe a need for you guys to spend some time apart from each other so that there could be some clarity gained here. Um, it's okay to take a risk. Yeah, somebody's realizing like they want to take this risk on this connection. That's the breakthrough. Love that there's love here. Let's do one more. Wait for answers. So they're telling you to not take action towards this person. Wait for them to come to you. Yeah, something is brewing. Something is in the works or something is brewing. It says value your time. Yeah, don't waste your time. It says it will come back. So they're telling you not to waste your time. Um, I feel like maybe you reaching out to this person, you chasing this person, you taking the action, you taking the initiative. It's a waste of your time. This is something that you have to let them come to you and do. Just know they will come back. All right, that's what Spirit is saying. Like, um, wait for the answers to come to you. Um, they're going to end up taking a leap of faith on this connection. Yeah, they did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like that's why either you retreated away from them or they retreated away from you. Like, either way, um, it's giving them clarity about how they feel about you in this connection, okay? So let's see. Um, let's see if there was any other factors. Let's see if there were any other factors.
Were there any other factors, Spirit? We have romance in the workplace. I mean, for some of you, it could be a work situation. Like, there, they could have had a, a, like, either you met this person at work or they had another person. It says work partnership, meet at work. So either you and this person may end up having some type of work partnership or you met at work or they could have a, a person that they have, have been involved with from work. Tell me more. We have happy times ahead. It says successful outcome, all is well. We have excess baggage. Yeah, this person was, yeah, needs a lot of work living in the past. So they weren't over, they were still stuck on the past here. Yeah, past life karma. So yeah, they probably did have a karmic, guys. Yeah, they probably had a karmic. Or they needed to maybe still heal. Tell me about this romance in the workplace. Eternal bond. No, this is you and this person, I feel like. Work, romance in the workplace and eternal bond. No, there was a third party. What does this eternal bond mean for Pisces? Trust your intuition. And yeah, you're going to hear from this person. Like You guys know that this is like there's something going on between the two of you. It may come out of the blue. It may be surprising, um, impulsive. But yeah, they definitely had another person. Could have been somebody that they worked with or somebody that they met at work or they could have like, it could have something like they, they, something to do with finances or something like that. But they have this eternal bond with you. Like they're not going to be able to forget you. And I feel like you guys know that this isn't over to some degree, or this is what your intuition is trying to tell you, or this is what their intuition is trying to tell them about you. But it says, trust your intu intuition. You are right. Strong intuition. And it says, call or text. Someone's going to be expressing you know, you're going to be getting a communication from someone here. But yeah, there definitely was a third party involved. Um, I'm feeling like it was possibly romantic, but it could have been family or a friend. Um, but we have isolated and alone. So I don't even know if they're dealing with that person anymore either. What does this mean for um, Pisces? They will return. Yeah, they're, they're retreating from that situation. Maybe that was what that retreat for clarity um, card was as well. Maybe they needed to leave somebody alone so that they could see things clearly, or they needed you to like back off so that they could see something for what it was. But yeah, they self sabotage this connection. It says fears. Yeah, definitely heavy on the fears, pessimism, runner triggers. You were dealing with a runner. Okay. Um, yeah, we have work and finances. See, like I said, it could have something to do with money, work, finances, um, how they were, um, involved with this third party. Okay. But yeah, it says devoted to you. Mm, twin flame yeah they're gonna end up like surrendering to this that's that could be what also the seven of wands is is like a surrender um but yeah they will return not over a temporary breakup so they're gonna return but i feel like they have to leave something else or somebody else behind first okay so or they need to like distance themselves from a situation Yeah, what did I just say? Look, t detox period. This showed itself to me. I really wasn't even trying to pull it, but yeah, cleaning up their life and getting ready to start a new life with you. It's like, so the more that they start detoxing and they start distancing themselves from this, whatever this third party is, I feel like the more clarity that they're going to get. 13, 13, 13 on the camera, all right? Yeah, I'm missing you. Didn't that already come out? I think so, yeah. Being without you has been too hard to bear. Their happiness is with you. And we have not the right time. There are lessons to be learned. Trust the journey. So yeah, timing isn't right for you and this person. There's healing that needs to be done. It could even be that they just need to like heal from a situation. It may not even be somebody that like, it could have been somebody from their past that they worked with or something like that. But it says healing can't be rushed. Breathe through it, work through it and learn from it. Yeah. Look at this third party. I'm telling you, look at the, how like this is all connected. They're involved with someone else who they feel obligated to. So it could have, yeah, something to do with money or finances, work. It says new perception. They see you in a different light and want to get to know you more. Yeah, I told you as they, they were unawakened to this connection. They didn't, they were, they didn't have the same awareness of the connection that you did. And that's why it was important for you to focus on yourself. But whatever they chose over you, or if this was other options, because they did come through as a player, if they wanted to explore other options or they chose like another option, like that they met at work or something like that. Um, that didn't work out. Okay. They said it, they realized it doesn't make them happy. They realized that that situation isn't you. Okay. It doesn't fulfill them in the way that you do. All right. What they used to do is not, doesn't feel the same. So it says fear of loss. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown. I just got to download that this person, like you could just say you walked away or they walked away. Right. For whatever reason. Um, and then, you know, they thought that they could go, maybe this was somebody that usually would jump from relationship to relationship. As soon as they would break up with somebody, they would jump to a new relationship because they like they can't like, they don't like being single or they, you know what I mean? They like getting attention, whatever it is. So 
they could have tried to do that after being with you and then they realize like shit like this is not this is not the same like i can't move on from pisces like i can't let pisces go like this isn't making me forget about pisces like it used to do with the other people i was with so it's something along the lines of that all right so let's get um a few timing cards to see what's gonna happen going forward they miss you at this at this present moment though they may have already like cut things off with this third party but they just they need to get their life together like they need to like really they need to work on themselves they need to clean up their life they need to distance themselves from some things yeah before that they could ever have something with you but i feel like they're gonna maybe come back like you know we're always like works in progress right but yeah i feel like they're gonna come back like before they have everything figured out i'm gonna be honest with you guys but they just they're gonna take a leap of faith okay so yeah we have in the works yeah didn't i just say works in progress <laughs> it has already begun nothing else to be done what you want wants you it says bad forces blocking time and spirit yeah they need to cleanse they need spiritual cleansing they have some people around them that do not have good intentions for them. 1616 16 on the camera. Mm -hmm. Somebody could like be like go to the casino, like going to the casino or they gamble. Okay. That could be resonate for some of you. But anyways, it says spiritual cleansing is necessary. Trickery lies, evil eyes, shadow self, something or someone is not good for you. We have next month. It says your way to victory, win, award, fame, success, goals, keep up the good work. And we have, yeah, look at this tricky time uncomfortable messy situation complicated logic caution a sly approach is necessary we have march and march on the back of the deck so it says no need to worry everything is falling into place beautifully i don't know if that's when it's gonna yeah we have more energy of some this is being blocked for your highest good it says open your mind to the possibility that you deserve more than what you're asking for you guys were settling for this person at some some point and spirit says you deserve much better so that's why this hasn't been working out despite all your efforts and despite your your strong desire to make some work with this person they weren't going to let you settle for this so let's do i wanted to do more yeah they're just, exactly like with this this is what already came out they're telling you to bide your time yeah i, I keep getting that it's probably going to take a little bit it could take until march it could be until spring like until you hear from this person or until they're they get their shit together right but it says follow the signs of the universe divine guidance synchronicities wait quietly for a good opportunity and it says virgo season slowly moving towards you detail picky practical shyness take practical steps towards your goals so yeah not the right time here again and then we even have not in this lifetime so mm, the time has come to let go of this situation i don't think it's not in this lifetime i feel like they're just saying that you need to come to terms with the fact that it's not the right time this person is going through some type of chaotic situation um there's obstacles here in that you know you need to let go of the situation for now and let your angels let the divine show the way or you know let it happen that's why they're saying divine guidance yeah bide your time so we have in the winter believe in your dreams don't settle settle for less simply because it's available which i feel like that's what you were doing with this person at some point be patient enough to wait for what you truly desire so you have perfect timing yeah on a special occasion New doors are opening now and new opportunities are coming your way. What you're asking about will happen on an important date or during the festive season. Things are going to start changing maybe like in the in the winter time. Yeah, whatever it is, it's worth waiting for. Like winter time going into spring or like if it's not the spring. Yeah, maybe like that's when I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, it may for some of you, it may come in in the winter time headed going into the spring time. That time, that time period is significant. All right. So um, let's get some more messages from your angels. Your angel said they got you. They're working it out. They said this is not good for you right now. This person's not good for you. You deserve better. We're not letting you settle. Yeah, it says untie karmic knots. Yeah. The situation is linked into karmic energy and the reason for of your challenges. It's time to work off your karmic debts. Whether that's you or this person, it could be both of you. That's been an issue. Conflicting desires. Yeah, when the choice is hard, follow your heart and your desires will stop fighting against each other. So what do you really feel in your heart to be true? And it, what they're saying here with this, sit this out, is that you know that you probably need to distance yourself from this situation for right now. Don't let this situation dim your light. It says something is not quite right. If you guys know something's not right. Wait a little longer before taking action. Yeah. Timing is off or it could be the wrong decision. It says work your light. Let the light of your presence 
illuminate every room you you enter and let them see the light that you carry. So yeah, there's like a need for like somebody to stop and reassess here. You need more information about the situation in order to make the right decision. Look into it further and pay attention to the details behind a mask. Things may be hidden from you. Make sure you double check everything and be careful who you trust at this time. Yeah, there's, yeah, but things are going to change for the better. Like, I feel like you guys knew that, know that something's being hidden from you or that something's not right. Something's going on behind the scenes. And like Spirit says, you need to trust your intuition. And I feel like they're saying that it's best that you distance yourself from the situation for right now. But things are going to, there's going to be a shift and I do see positive news. All right. Um, right. Let's see. Let's get a few of these to wrap up the reading. Somebody's like entangled with a karmic, like they need to get untangled. Hobbies. So it says hobbies are a great, great way to distract you from worries and troubles, create a roadmap and turn your hobby into a side hustle. And we have a, that's coming out with abundance. So some of you guys have some type of hobby or a side hustle that could really lead to a lot of um, blessings and abundance, okay? Yeah, look at this reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Remember, it's up to you if you want to revisit your past. Yeah, third eye. There's something about, like, your intuition here. It says unblock and strengthen your third eye so you may bridge the gap from earthly existence to the spiritual realms. Frozen. Yeah, they're telling you that things... There's something about the winter time. Stagnation will soon pass. Use it as a vehicle for self-development and increase your personal power. Yeah, I think the scales will be balanced. Justice, justice will be served. The truth will be revealed. Okay, we have spring coming out again. I don't know. It's like something about like that cusp time. Like, so probably like we did have March that came out. You know, March is like half spring, half winter. So it could be right around that time. Like, um, it could be right around your birthday because we did have that special occasion. For some of you, it could be around your birthday. Um, but it's going to be like February, March time. When is the first day of spring? I think it's in March, right? But yeah, it says what you're asking for will become yours in the spring. Rebirth, re spiritual rejuvenation, love and growth awaits. Yeah, we have let off steam. It says be conscious not to hold any stress, anger or anxieties. Reconnect with your spirit and let it all out. Yeah. Expansion, you're dissolving your limitations and making great progress, reaching new heights of what's possible. So yeah, you guys are, um, you're growing. Yeah. You're growing, you're ascending and it's like making like possibilities, like it's making what's possible. You're making a lot of progress. You're dissolving your limitations and it's like, like it says, reaching new heights of what's possible. So yeah, this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, um, personal readings are closed now. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.